Uh, very good morning to all of you. I think we'll begin the session. And the first session is by uh, Nandan Chabra. He's from QA Infotech. I would want him to introduce himself personally, so that I think that would be right for me also to know. So I think a very brief description is given here. I think you're a computer science uh, graduate, if I'm right. Okay, and uh, he's a testing engineer. And he is more passionate about uh, new technologies, gadgets, hacking, computer games, and of course, uh, augmented uh, reality for learning about uh, the sixth sense technology. And uh, he has taken AR as his presentation topic even in the third year of computer science. Okay, over to you, Nandan. Uh, yeah, as a reminder, again, 20 minutes for your presentation, 5 minutes for your QA. Right? Yes. Good morning everyone, my name is Nandan Chavro, I am software testing engineer at Green Protect and this is my first time at STC and I feel privileged sharing my experience and views on augmented reality based testing. So let's begin. This is the age of ubiquitous computing and are we ready for it? This is not just a mere thought but an unsaid reality. Ubiquitous computing is an advanced computing concept where computing is made to appear everywhere and anywhere using any device in any location and any format. For example, here in this picture, this young girl is in an animal, in an animal safari and wants to view these animals up close. So using the zoom-in gesture on the car side window, she is able to see those animals more clearly. Next one. This person here is reading news on his flexible display and the news is out of reading itself periodically. We all know Prenum history. The MITN, who now leads the think tank team and is the director of research at Samsung. Here he is demonstrating the six cent technology by making a call using his hand as a dial pad. And here, technology is being used as a uh, collaboration tool between students of two geographies. So we had all these technologies, clever minds are working hard and building complex systems to enhance the end user experience. So with this thought in mind, let's have a look at the end of the presentation. Uh, we will discuss the technology which is uh, available with us present today, understanding of mental reality. Role of testers, identify implementation areas, augmented reality as our third eye, demonstration, benefits of augmented reality, and takeaway. So, let's discuss about the presently developed technologies with us. This is a view of Google navigation viewed through Google Glass. Now, Google Glass is a very cool looking head mount, wearable head mounted display that has the capability of merging physical and digital worlds together. Uh, it integrates a camera. Accelerometer, GPS, gyroscope, giving the user a smartphone like features in a hands free format. So, next example. Next example, which is Samsung Galaxy Gear. It's a smartwatch developed by Samsung as an add on to the Samsung and Samsung Galaxy Note 3. It integrates a single mode processor, super AMOLED display, a camera, accelerometer, GPS, gyroscope, and many other features that we usually find in our smartphones. It is seamlessly paired with Samsung Galaxy Note 3 so that you can view your notifications and make a call without taking out your smartphones. <coughs> so after discussing about these technological trends, how can we use this in our testing domain? So let me discuss this with a real life corporate problem. <coughs> As we all know, organizations hire many new resources over the year and it becomes a bit challenging task for the trainers to train and educate them. So the question arises, how we can ease this effort? Is there any approach that is smart, practical and interactive enough so that the young technical minds can grasp it and take advantage out of it? The answer to this question lies in augmented reality. So what is augmented reality? Augmented reality is a direct to life feed of the real world which is augmented by computer generated input which enhances the end user experience by adding additional information and having communication capabilities. Say for example, here is an advertisement of a car. When we view this advertising through our naked eyes, it just appears to be a normal static page giving information like cars, design and color. But once we use this through our augmented reality application, which is installed in our smart device, it gets augmented with additional information. Now the same static page has become dynamic and more interactive one. Now we can see more details such as India's most fuel efficient car uh, uh, and other details by just holding our smart device. Or you can watch a video by exploring more, more its features. So let's understand augmented reality a bit better by relating it with different environments. Here we can see this is a plant that fits a real world environment, a virtual environment. 
virtual environment is an artificially created computer generated environment that simulates reality, such as your computer games and animated movies. Augmented virtuality. In augmented virtuality, the real user is immersed inside an artificially created world, such as your uh, flight simulators and uh, 3D uh, 3 movies. Now, augmented reality. The aim of augmented reality not, is not to immerse a real user inside an artificially created world, but to augment objects in the physical world by enhancing them with the wealth of communication capabilities and uh, additional digital information. So, in other words, you can say that uh, virtual environment replaces reality and augmented reality enhances reality. So, let's discuss how these two worlds combine. We need accurate dimensions and uh, proper uh, accurate dimensions <coughs> so that we can uh, uh, so all the objects that we are going to augment in the real scene. A combination of local and global, global coordinate systems. We need to map all the local coordinates in the center of our device, smart device, with the global coordinates of the real scene. Register 3D objects. We need to register 3D objects with uh, so that it represents their own counterparts in the image. As you can see, that we want that this result should reference this image and not lying, uh, flying around in the air. Tracking objects over time. We need to track objects in real time with speed and accuracy so that the it, uh, so that it stay aligns when the user interacts with the real world or uh, in, interact, interacts with them in the real world. So till now we have discussed what is augmented reality and how does it work. So let's take a step forward with the tester's point of view. So there can be two roles in which a tester might interact with the augmented reality systems. Either we are a tester's hat and test the augmented reality systems or how to make use of augmented reality systems to test other applications. So as this, uh, this technology is still in the research and development phase, I am going to stick to the second part. So while exploring this topic, I identified some key areas where augmented reality systems would help us in uh, sharing the supplementary load from the testers. Namely, under two categories, so that is time consuming factors and skill factors. In time consuming factors, we have test setups, requirement and test specifications, test report creations, and training exercises. And in skill factors, we have difficulty in keeping track of frequent hardware and hardware and software updates, little time for knowledge and information sharing, and need of multi senior discipline uh, tester due to complex systems. So, uh, upon working on these topics, we will see in the uh, next coming slides the how we can use augmented reality as a third eye and will, that, will help, help, uh, that will assist us while testing. So, let's have a look at some of the demonstrations that will provide us a more clearer picture of what I am going to say uh, in, the, in a more practical way. A walk in the park. Previously, I mentioned that how we can ease the trainer's effort by minimizing its load. So, in the uh, next demonstration, I will show you the same solution for the same. So here, I am uh, holding a smart device and opening my smart device in the front of the uh, login page of the application. Now, the augmented reality application installed in the smart device identifies my application and a screenshot box was started uh, and guided me all along the application without a need or minimizing the need of a, a dedicated expert or mentor for this task. Next example. Uh, while testing an application, While testing an application, it becomes uh, uh, very uh, important that we test the compatibility aspect of the application. That is, check that the application works equally well on all the OS and browser configurations. So, it, uh, would it be useful if the... If the sorry, sorry, uh, may, may I again? So, would it be useful if that if the uh, um, testers will be able to test all the application without uh, setting up, wasting time on test machines. The test machines, as you know that, uh, they are not easy to prepare. We have to format them again and again and install new versions again and again. So I made some efforts and uh, found out that how we can use augmented reality to minimize this manual efforts. So here is a short, a short demonstration for that. Here I am holding my smart device again and focusing on my system uh, log, log on screen only. The system log on screen and uh, the augmented reality application identifies my machine and throws back all the details of the installed browsers and version, plugin versions. So, minimizing the manual efforts of checking the system's configuration manually. Here is a uh, same example for a Windows 8 machine. So, 
in the exam, for example. Uh, there is always a scenario where we have to perform thousands of test cases and it becomes a very cumbersome and ice training task to perform this count by glancing back and forth at the application and the test cases again and again. So, wouldn't it be useful if the information is overlaid in a line of vision? So, here uh, is an example for that. Here I am doing a smoke test of this application and I am using a Google Glass. Okay. So, uh, this uh, augmented reality application installed in my Google Glass would be tracking my actions. And that would help me to, uh, to see all the previously performed test cases, my current test case, and all the uh, pending test cases by just holding my hand on the left. Uh, or using voice commands. And moreover, I can use hand gestures like this or this to pass a failure test case. And after the completion of test case or uh, execution, a test report will be generated by, uh, of, by, with the help of augmented reality application. So these were just some of the uh, implementation areas where augmented reality systems would be helpful in uh, our testing domain. Its scope cannot be contained. So let's discuss the uh, benefits of, of augmented reality. Less documentation as the uh, content is already available in the, is already recording, recorded in the visual environment. Increased knowledge information sharing. Now testers will be able to get on-demand information of the test subjects without uh, exploring other applications or uh, exploring other devices. Short test setup time, now testers will be able to set up test machines in more uh, easily, more easily and effortlessly. Less time spent on test reports, increased test efficiency, now tests will be able to focus more on testing rather than uh, preparing and maintaining the test documentation. Cost effective as the testers need, just need to install an application on your already available smart device in your pockets. <coughs> Less environment footprints. All the content is digital and we are not harming any natural resources. Takeaways. We can use less augmented reality applications to uh, uh, establish a workforce that will be readily available for testing any environment in any format or any location. We can enhance our working capabilities and focus more on challenging tasks rather than focusing on step to produce or reproduce. We will be able to surely help the trainers to train the new joinees in a more practical way and the testers to test with a new perspective. <coughs> so, would it be useful? So, let's imagine a world where everyone could be like Tony Stark from the movies Iron Man, manipulating information in the thin air. For those who are getting me, would understand, and here is a small video clip from the movie Iron Man. So I would like to end this by saying that this is a beginning of a new emerging area and I have to spend the last, the last couple of months exploring it, implementing it and adapting it. My colleagues and seniors have helped me, helped out me and uh, made me aware of the challenges which I am going to focus, uh, to, which I am going to uh, uh, focus on later part. And I was able to get it, uh, get this approved in uh, some of the application areas, major areas in QA for tech, such as in the training part, it's already implemented and in the uh, part where we have to uh, give the new joinees, new, QE, new QEs, the KD sessions, they have already started that and it will be very useful for the IT, IT people also so that they can set up test machines without churning out the visual testing lab. So I will, so with a disclaimer that I know everything and I know nothing, I am open to all questions from you. <laughs> People are still already testing. Yeah, testing, exactly. testing is the all the prototypes. The Google Glass is in the prototype phase, and the there are uh, the companies like Metal and Lyo. So they already yeah. have okay, yeah. applications ready for that, and they are testing just testing. Maybe and major demonstration are using their applications also, which are already available. But they are more, focusing more on advertisement rather than testing or any other applications. Yeah, that could produce it. First one is not there. So when somebody is building, you have these applications. People are still already testing those. Focusing more on hardware.
uh, that text and our, our uh, inputs like voice commands, hand gestures, and focus more on that part using AI, artificial intelligence, and augmented reality. We are merging all that in a simple way, which is variable and uh, easily available to will be available to us in 2049, I suppose, publicly available. Any other questions? So whatever you have demoed is not readily available applications in the market? Uh, the illustration which I showed about training, it is already available for us for advertising purpose only. And I have used that in the training demo, uh, training, training demos for the new joinings. Okay. And other application, I will uh, I'm started uh, planning for that application in our Q&A tech. And we have started preparing for the IT people. So that they can test the test machines, prepare the test machines in a more simple way. So basically a walkthrough is for something which is coming in. Yeah. So basically talking about the uh, BMWs uh, preparing for yeah, yeah, the yeah. Sure. Exactly. Any other questions? That's it? Okay, good. Uh, I think we, yes. give, uh, we can give a thumbs up for Nandan. Uh, excellent job. I think so it takes uh, favorite and favorite and people, youngsters like you on the forum. Thanks a lot for being here. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 so stop for now.